Hey YouTube, Windraiser here coming to you today with another Transformer review. Sorry I was on a bit, bit of a hiatus there, but I was in the process of moving apartments. And I'm still trying to get settled into my new place. So I figured, you know what, while I have a break from work and unpacking stuff, I'm going to go ahead and do a Transformers review that I was supposed to do last month, but didn't get around to until now. And I also ended up buying two new transformers so i'll be going ahead and reviewing them a lot after i review him so today i'm going to be reviewing and taking a look at transformers studio series transformers the movie 1986 sludge and sludge is another one of the dinobots i had as a kid growing up um i never got the, the combiner the power of the primes version so I'm happy I have this one and him being at a actual good scale Dinobot for the rest of my other Transformers is really good. I still do need to find uh, Grimlock and I'm hoping that they do Slag and Swoop or not Slag and Swoop, uh, Snarl and Swoop. But here we have Sludge in his Dino mode and he is, according to TF Wiki, I think it, they put him as a, a Patasaurus or Brontosaurus, one of the two, he's a long neck. <laughs> um, pose, but before I get into pose, I'm gonna give you a close up of this guy. I do love it. Is uh the mold that nice blue there for the eyes, jaw open and closed. There is a cannon in his mouth for a blast effect. Nice Autobot logo up top. Go through oh, you guys little feeties here. Um, uh, got his robot feet right here. But I do love the, the amount of detail on him. Uh, yes, you can see a little bit of red here, but that's okay. No stumpy tail. Now, I like how it's gunmetal, uh, it's a gray, gunmetal gray, and then right here to the rest, it's silver. That's very cool. And I also do like one thing, and you'll see this in, when you go into, into robot mode. There's these mo uh, cutouts right here. These triangle divots of where the tail originally used to sit. But the set the tail just folded like that. And this would fold out. <laughs> but yeah. And there's the other side. Oop. Yeah, this part's a little loose. So. Oh, there's the bottom. Very gappy. There is an add-on kit that I know. Two add-on kits. One is for the feet and one that will fill in this belly part. But posability on him. The front legs do more forward and back. There is a swivel at the, I guess that would be the elbow. Toes more move forward and backwards. The neck does move up and down, though that kind of makes it weird. Head moves up and down. Jaw opens and closes. Uh, here at the neck, at the gold part, he does swivel. The back legs. Nice soft ratchet. Uh, there's a bit of a swivel there. Knees can move forward and back. There's a hinge for in and out so you can make him go pee pee. <laughs> With a size by size comparison, here he is next to his dino brother, Slag. Let's see how those two look to each other. And they do look nice side by side. Um, I can't wait to get Grimlock. And here is Sludge next to an Alicon. They didn't fight them. They did fight the Sharkcon, so I'm hoping to find a Gnaw. Hoping. Well, let's go ahead and get into his transformation, shall we? I'm going to turn it back a bit. So first, we're going to take his head. Start like that. And just go ahead and do that if it hasn't done it already. Uh... Come here to the gold pieces here. Go ahead and unhook those. And while you're doing that, you can go ahead and unhook this entire back piece. These will flip up. Go ahead and peg them. Fold them out to the side like that. And I like to bring these out too. So have that like that. Come here to the front, bring the leg front 
his baby legs out and go ahead and it's just like the original toy that wings always have trouble getting getting around but before you do that you there's all and that add a kit also helps with these um bring the leg baby legs down and around keep those like that for right now all right so with that out bring the legs up unhook this piece swing this around and leave that like that for right now now come here to the back gonna um swing the legs unhook them make sure they peg into place Have to raise up here again because this is a big boy. Rotate him at the waist, and then swing the feet around. And swing him down for right now. Swing this down. Swing this around. Fold this in, and then fold that into place. And there's a little uh, tab right here. That will go into a slot right in there. Go ahead and fold the tail up onto his leg. And it should just peg into place like that. And then this will just peg slide up. So bring this over. Bring that in. Bring it down. Fold the leg up, tail up. Fold the feet up. And there you have his lower half done. I'm gonna take a look at his upper half. Show the pull back. Go ahead and flip his head up. Fold the chest up. Rotate the arms. Bring him down. Rotate him at the bicep. And then come in here and fold this hand out. What I like to do is just take the gun or some form of something, staff, fold it out, flip the hand around. Do the same over here, rotate the arm, bring it down, rotate the bicep, hit the staff, flip out the hand, Come back here to the back. Fold these little toesies up. Fold them down. You can take the dino head. You can flip this around and have it like that. That's up to you, that's your preference. I like to keep it straight. And then just fold it straight down. And then the wings just rest nicely on his back. And there you have Sludge in his robot mode. And he is a big boy. I do like him. Um, there is, I did forget to mention, he de this is the only accessory he comes with is his gun. I forgot to mention it does peg onto his feet via these pegs in dino mode. If you remember the pictures, it just kind of sits there. But, yeah. Yeah, I like this boy. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get a close-up of him. Not that, that chesty. He's got a beautiful head sculpt. Very G1. Very boxy, beefy chest. Very nice details. I like how the tails fold up right here along the legs. Nice gold for the toes. He's got some big, beefy, beefy legs. Nice, beefy feet. And the backs, not much of a backpack, just very traditional. Posability of him in his robot mode. Head is on a swivel. There is that joint that his neck is on so he can look up. Uh, the back legs of the demo mode are his robot arms. Just now you have a elbow joint and a fist 
wrist swivel. That soft ratchet's still there, still in and out. Uh, he does have waist rotation. Soft ratchet at the hips. That is in and out. There is upper thigh swivel. Mm, about 90 degree, degree bend at the knee. And there is broken ankle articulation. <laughs> so there is that. He can hold his weapon. And just like Emgo always says, he can pew pew bang bang pew pew bang bang. <laughs> I just wanted to quote him on that because I like how he does it. And I'm going to let him stick to doing it because it's not my shtick, it's his. Stand. Here, so for size by size comparison, here he is next to an Alicon. I have to really back up. Here he is next to Deep Cover. Um, here he is with Rat Trap. And here he is next to his other movie buddy. Ooh. If he wants to stand. Here he is next to Blaster. So he's got he's got some height on him. Make these guys away. Uh, oh. And just for it, here he is with a slither fang. A little tiny snake. <laughs> but um, should you get the Dinobots? Yes. If you've seen the 86 movie, yes. If you gr grew up on it, yes. If you're a young and getting into the, into the Transformers and your parents show you the 86 movie, yes. Get these guys. Especially the, 80, the Studio 86 uh, characters. Definitely get them. Yes, some of the cast has come out in the Legacy line. But it's fine. There are the characters from that movie that are coming out for the Studio series. But there you guys have it. Now, I don't have, I don't have Slag with me. Or I have Slag with me, but not in robot mode. But here he is next to one of his dino buddies. So you can tell how big they are. <laughs> But there you guys have it. There has been my review for Studio Series 1986 Sludge. I'm Windraiser, and I'll see y'all on the next review.